United Kingdom of the Netherlands was the unofficial name for the Kingdom of the Netherlands during the period after it was first created from part of the First French Empire and before the New Kingdom of Belgium split off from it in 1830. This state, a large part of which still exists today as the Kingdom of the Netherlands, was made up of the former Dutch Republic to the north, the former Austrian Netherlands to the south, and the former Prince Bishopric of Liege. The House of Orange Nassau came to be the monarchs of this new state. The United Kingdom of the Netherlands collapsed after the 1830 Belgian Revolution. William I, King of the Netherlands, would refuse to recognize a Belgian state until 1839, when he had to yield under pressure by the Treaty of London. Only at this time were exact borders agreed upon. Nowadays, the Benelux Union is in some ways a distant heir of the former United Kingdom of the Netherlands. Their respective political systems are very similar and Dutch is the official and vernacular language of 83% of its total population. Background After the liberation of the Netherlands in 1813 by Prussian and Russian troops, it was taken for granted that any new regime would have to be headed by William Friedrich of Orange Nassau, the son of the last stadtholder William V of Orange Nassau and Princess Wilhelmina of Prussia. William returned to The Hague, where on 6 December he was offered the title of king. He refused, instead proclaiming himself sovereign prince of the Principality of the United Netherlands. Unification under William I during the Congress of Vienna in 1815 France had to give up its rule of the southern Netherlands. These negotiations were not made easy, because William tried to get as much out of it as he could. His ideas of a united Netherlands were based upon the actions of Hendrik van der Noot, a lawyer and politician and one of the main players in the revolution of the southern Netherlands against the Austrian Emperor. In 1789, after the Southern Netherlands declared themselves independent, Hendrik knew this was a fragile state and he tried to be reunited with the Republic of the Seven United Netherlands. Since then William had never forgotten this and after the fall of Napoleon he saw a chance. Three different scenarios were made. The Northern Netherlands restored within its old borders and the Southern Netherlands would become a barrier state under the rule of a great power, like Austria. If the Southern Netherlands would stay French, the Northern Netherlands should be extended to the Netta River or probably the whole of Flanders. In this scenario also portions of Germany would become Dutch. Then the border would be the line Mechelen Maastricht Julich Cologne Dusseldorf where it ends at the River Rhine, France within its old borders. The Northern Netherlands unified with the Southern Netherlands and all of German territories on the left bank of the Rhine and north of the Moselle, and the old Duchy of Berg and the old lands of Nassau on the right bank of the Rhine. The first two scenarios came from Memorandum of Holland made in 1813 after the Battle of Leipzig. The last scenario came from William himself. The first scenario never made it because the great powers thought an independent southern Netherlands, Belgium under an Austrian prince was too weak, and Austria was not interested in getting it back. The Dutch question became a problem. The great powers of Europe chose the last scenario, but didn't want to go as far in enlarging the Netherlands as William had wanted. In the end, the Eight Articles of London granted William sovereignty over the following lands. The Republic of the Seven United Netherlands The Austrian Netherlands within its borders of 1789 The Prince Bishopric of Liege But on Prussia's behalf small changes were made to its borders William was named Governor-General of the Austrian Netherlands including Liege which he temporarily ruled for Prussia It was later incorporated into the Kingdom of the Netherlands the Duchy of Luxembourg was not fully granted to William, because it was a member of the German Confederation. William however demanded that Luxembourg become a part of the Netherlands, as a unified Netherlands was stronger as a buffer for France. Historically it had been a part of the 17 provinces or Burgundy and Netherlands up to 1648, but Luxembourg was still a part of the discussions.
On 1 March 1815, while the Congress of Vienna was still going on, Napoleon escaped from Elba and he created a large army against the great powers of Europe. He was defeated at the Battle of Waterloo by Prussian, British, Belgian, Dutch and Nassau troops. In response, on 16 March 1815, William proclaimed the Netherlands a kingdom, with himself as King William I. Furthermore, on 31 May 1815, William concluded a treaty at the Congress of Vienna whereby he ceded the Principality of Orange Nassau to the Kingdom of Prussia in exchange for the Duchy of Luxembourg. As a part of the deal, the duchy was elevated to a Grand Duchy in a personal and political union with the Netherlands, albeit remaining within the German Confederation being garrisoned by Prussian troops on behalf of the Dutch king. With the unification, William completed his family's three-century quest to unite the Low Countries under a single rule. Terminology Royaume-Uni des pays bas never was the French official name of this short-lived kingdom. This French unofficial name stayed in the common language to avoid any confusion with the rest of the Netherlands after the Belgian Revolution and secession. Both in international treaties and national legislation was the country indifferently referred in French to Royaume des Belgium and Royaume des Pays Bas. From the 17th century until the Revolution of 1830 were the English, Netherlands, Dutch, Nederlanden, Latin, Belgium, and French, Pays Bar, or Belgium, more or less interchangeable. For example, the Dutch colony of New Netherlands was called in Latin, Nova Belgica, or Novum Belgium, in Dutch, NIEUW Netherland, and in French, Nouvelle Hollande. Likewise, the United States of Belgium were called in French Etats Belgium Unis, in Dutch Vernida Nederlandse Staten, and in Latin Status Belgera Foderati, or Belgium Foderatum. At the start of the Orange regime, harsh discussions arose, especially in the southern provinces, about the way to qualify the inhabitants of the new kingdom and the latter itself. In common language, it wasn't a problem to talk about de Nederlanden or Les Pays Bar. For the Flemings, it was uneasy but not totally irrelevant to be referred to Nederlanders, even if they now preferred to be called Belgian. Contrary wise was it absolutely irrelevant for the French-speaking elite to be called Nederlanders, and they demanded to be named Belges. So, confronted to a wide protest in the elite circles from the south, the regime decided to translate the Dutch Nederlanden, Het Nederlandse Volk, Nederlanders, and Nederlands by the French Belgium, Le Peuple Belge, Belges, and Belge. Moreover, in French, it wasn't referred to a Lang Nederlanders, but to a Lang Belgium, but even the latter decision also caused turmoil in the south. Some Walloons and Flemings petitioned vehemently, arguing they didn't want to share their name with the Hollanders. To illustrate the complexity of this terminological mess, one among the most radical and Republican opposition newspapers published in the South was named Le Courier des Pays Bar. After the Belgian secession, the southern provinces choose as an official name, Kingdom of Belgium. In French, the new state was called Royaume de Belgium. While it was necessary to find a neologism for the Dutch official name to be used by the Flemings, Koninkrijk Belgia. Finally, to establish a clear distinction with the northern provinces, the official Latin name became Regnum Belgici, or Belgica. Since then, the Latin names for the north are Nederlandia, and sometimes Batavia, power of the king. The newly formed kingdom was not like the Netherlands or Belgium today. Under the constitution, King William was both head of state and head of government, and had considerably more power than a king or queen in a modern constitutional monarchy. The second chamber of the States General of the Netherlands had 110 members. Despite the South's far greater population, both halves of the kingdom each elected 55 members, a source of considerable resentment in the South. The first chamber was appointed by the king and consisted of old and new noblemen. The Netherlands had eight ministers, who were responsible only to the king himself. In fact, they followed his demands. 
The king also could rule by a royal order, provinces. The kingdom consisted of 17 provinces. In the north, the provinces kept the former administrative boundaries of the French departments, themselves shaped according to the former seven united provinces of the Netherlands. In the south, the provinces were grosso modo shaped according to the former French departments but, in a restoration spirit, they were renamed to refer to the former principalities of the pre-revolutionary southern Netherlands and Prince Bishopric of Liege. Antwerp, former De Nethers Department, Drenthe, East Flanders, former Esco Department, Friesland, Gelderland, Groningen, Hainaut, former Gemape Department, Holland, Limburg, former Musimferia Department, Liege, former Auer Department, Namur, former Sambore Muse Department, North Brabant, Overeersel, South Brabant, renamed to Brabant in 1831, former Dial Department, Utrecht, West Flanders, former List Department, Zeeland, Economic and Social Development, economically the new state prospered, although many people in the north were unemployed and lived in poverty because a lot of British goods had destabilized the Dutch trade market. Although financially stable, the South also had the burden of the nation's debt but gained new trade markets in the Dutch colonies. Many people's welfare improved in the South lived in poverty because the profits of trade were used for big projects. William tried to divide the nation's wealth more equally through, among others, the following actions. Constructing new roads digging new canals and widening, deepening existing canals, extending the steel industry to the south, instating the metric system, levying new import and export taxes, opening the harbour of Antwerp. Through these actions export of cotton, sheets, weapons and steel products increased. The fleet of Antwerp grew to 117 ships. Many of these projects were funded by King William himself. The educational system was extended. Under William's rule the number of school-going children doubled from 150,000 to 300,000 by opening 1,500 new public schools. The South especially needed schools because many people could not read or write. In 1825 William founded the Dutch Trading Company to boost trade with the colonies. The Way to Separation Social differences Socially the unification created many problems. Although William set out from the start to create a single people, it soon became apparent that the North and South had drifted far apart culturally in the 200 years since the South was reconquered by the Habsburgs. In particular, the mentalities of the Burgundian South and Calvinistic North did not tolerate each other very well. Both the North and the South had a different historical background and the Dutch and French-speaking people both were afraid of being overruled by each other. France played a role in this by the legend Belge Parisienne, financed with private funds but with permission of the French government. To make a unification with France possible, the North had built up an independent history, and had experienced a golden age. William and his northern subjects saw the South more as a territorial gain than a partner. Although 62% of the population lived in the South, they were assigned the same number of representatives in the States General as the North. This was exacerbated by the fact that the North had more representation in the Second Chamber, since it was divided into more provinces than the South. Therefore, the more populous Belgians felt significantly underrepresented. A linguistic reform in 1823 intended to make Dutch the official language in the Flemish provinces, since it was the language of most of the Flemish population. This reform met with strong opposition from the Flemish upper and middle classes who at the time were mostly French-speaking. Religious and political differences Religion was also a reason for separation. While the North was dominantly Protestant, the South was Catholic. The Catholic Church saw its influence declining in favor of the king. He built over 1,500 state schools where the church was no longer the provider of education. Citations
Carrot Encyclopedia Universalis, Belgium, Histoire, La Parenthèse Française et Hollandaise, Encyclopedia Universalis, Pays Bar, Révolution et Restration 1780-1830. Carrot originally, the official title of William I, King of the Netherlands, was, in Dutch, Koning den Nederlanden, in French. Ward as Belgium, in Latin, Rex Belgia. After the Belgian Revolution, the Belgian monarch has been called King of the Belgians, in Dutch, Koning der Belgen, in French, Ward as Belges, in Latin, Rex Belgarum, Carat Roman Foderati. Carat the Chamavi merged into the Confederation of the Franks, the Tubenti merged into the Confederation of the Saxons, Carat Roman Foderati. Carat Roman Foderati, Carat part of East Francia after 939, divided in Upper Lorraine and Lower Lorraine in 959. Carat Lower Lorraine, also referred to as Lothia, disintegrated into several smaller or independent territories and only the title of a Duke of Lothia remained, held by Brabant. Carat Lordship of Frisia and Lordship of Groningen after 1524 and 1536 respectively. Carat including County of Zeeland, that was ruled by neighbouring County of Holland and County of Flanders. Carat Utrecht included Lordship of Overeersel, County of Drenthe and County of Zetfeen. Carat Duchy of Brabant included since 1288 also the Duchy of Limburg and their Overmaas, Lands, Dalhem, Falkenberg and Herzogenrath. Carat the county, later Duchy, of Gelders consisted of four quarters, as they were separated by rivers. Situated upstream upper quarter, spatially separated from the three downstream lower quarters. County of Zetfeen, Valua Quarter and Nijmegen Quarter. The three lower quarters emerged from the historic GAU Hammerland and formed the present-day province of Gelderland. Gelders did not include the Cleves Enclave Wiesen and the independent counties of Buren and Kullemborg, that were much later seceded to the province of Gelderland. Carat including county of Artois and Tornisis. Carat throughout the Middle Ages, the bishopric was further expanded with the Duchy of Bouillon in 1096, the acquisition of the County of Lune in 1366 and the County of Horn in 1568. The Lordship of Mechelen was also part of the Prince Bishopric of Liege. Carat the name 17 provinces came in use after the Habsburg Emperor Charles V had reacquired the Duchy of Gelders and an continuous territory arose. Carrot, Shepper, Hugo, in the Hall over Historische Identität and Identitätsbesef in der Lage Landen, in der Taktik Jarage Orlog, Universität Leiden, on der Het Koninkreich der Nederlanden van Koning Willem I, dat in Het Franz, Le Royaume des Belgium, Heert. Verden in der Fischiele stuck und der Termen het Nederlandsche Volk en Nederlanders Stelselmäische Grispecti Villagic met la Nation Belge en Belges Vertuld. In 1821 Vichine vor France de la Gene in Nederlandse Spreak und Stonde de Titel, Grammaire de la Lang Belgium, Carat Moke, JJ, Les Principes de la Lang Belgium, Missa la Porte de Ceux qui savent le Français, Gand. Houdin, Sula nom de Lang Belgium, J. Antons la Lang qu'on appelle vulgairement, Hollandaise, say a dire, le dialect Belgium le plus répandoué incomparablement le plus cultivé, jure en i point cru devoir apprendre au lecteur les principes de grammaire générale, communes au de langues, je me suis simplement borné à Louis Ferconadre c.e.k. le Belgium offrade special. Dan's son orthography as our syntax. Carrot wills, load. Van der Belgische and Art of Lans Nati. In Geschiedenisch van der Lans Beweging. Leuven. Akko. P. 38. In het Venide con Inkrijk pro Bierde de Overheide de Vroger Equati op New Ingang te Donvind and Tussen de Termen, Belgia, N. Nederland, Belgen, N. Nederlanders, als synonym and Vorhet Heel R.I.J.K.N.Z.I.J.N. Buniz. 
Marangesine Nervan, Pays Basquin, France, Benaming Con Warden Afgolide Vorderin Woners, N of Enmanin Bij Voglijic, France, Namward, Bracht Zedetermen, Neolander, N, Neolandais in Ohm Loop, Dartagen Tech and Summer Gen Heftig Protest AAN, Dialine, Belgen, Wilden Gino M. Dwarden N. Dazain Armen IET Metta, Hollanders Wilden Dellen, Carrot Bone, Francois, Neue Kart van Het Conning Reich den Adelanden en Het Groot Hartedome Luxembourg Volgens de Bepaulingen and van Het Wiener Congress, En Het Parish of a Distract Hart van 1815. Shal, California, 1, 1.000, 000, Harlem, C, Van Basel en Zoon, Universiteit van Amsterdam, Atlas der Nederlanden, Amsterdam, UVA.